Well, the origins of the Tipton House started years ago with the recognition that with the multiple uses that we have of the reserve, um, our meeting space at the time was just not big enough um, and didn't meet the needs of all our different kinds of users between researchers and kindergarten through 12th grade students and the public uh, workshops and things that were going on. So the building was um, designed with that in mind of a multiple use meeting house and administrative area. So Sedgwick is one of the largest reserves in the natural reserve system. We have up to 4,000 users every year and this house, uh, the Tipton Meeting House really presents an opportunity to have a real central area that, that different kinds of groups can use. One of the first considerations of the Tipton House um, was the site and how to integrate the building into the landscape. So you'll notice that the building is on a, a south-facing slope, which really gives um, a great opportunity for natural ventilation and for solar heat gain during the winter. Um, the building uses a lot of passive design principles, such as solar heat gain and natural ventilation. The water tank you see behind me collects water off the roof and uses it to flush water in the facility, saving approximately 100,000 gallons of water per year at the site. The beauty and the natural state of the Cedric Reserve are visible from every room in the Tipton House. A lot of emphasis was, was put on bringing the outdoors in in the design of the building envelope from the windows that open all the way up in the summer for natural ventilation to the design for passive daylighting. Um, the building really has a great connection to nature. You can see the natural ventilation scheme and the daylighting scheme um, take effect with an added benefit of saving a great amount of energy in the ventilation and cooling of the building, as well as um, a, a reduced need for uh, artificial lighting in the facility. Being one of the greenest buildings in the UC system means being one of the most energy efficient. The building will host large groups one day and very small groups another day. Therefore, a, a demand controlled approach was taken to the ventilation system, which brings in just as much fresh air as is needed in the building. The building senses how many occupants are in the building at any given time and brings in fresh air accordingly. Large groups mean large amounts of fresh air, means healthy fresh air to breathe. Smaller groups require less fresh air and less draw on the energy using systems. Much of the heating needs for the building, uh, both space heating and hot water heating, are served by this south-facing solar hot water heating system. Behind me you see one of the five solar arrays at the Cedric Reserve, which provide power to each building at the reserve as well as the Tipton House. The Tipton Meeting House has no natural gas service, meaning all of the systems are run on electricity. That means heating, cooling, ventilation. Um, the solar systems on the site provide enough energy to offset the use for the entire facility.